at the Bandai Namco Cross Store in Camden Town. I've not opened one of these in a while, so let's see how it goes. Let's see how it might just go really simply, or it might just go terribly. Let's find out today. Happy Taz Day everyone, my name is Faz and we're here at the Bad Diagram Pro Cross Store that just been opened up recently here in Camden, London. Uh, I didn't get to go to the official launch so we can actually get to see a little bit of different stuff here today. Uh, so come join me as we go check out the uh, <laughs> all the figures, the Van Presto stuff and of course all the gacha. Let's go! Bye. So when you come in, at least I took the side entrance, which meant that I had to go up the stairs and into the main area. And that, and you kind of when you come in on the right hand side, you'll see the one piece um, or the trading card area. On the left hand side, you see a uh, a cafe and a lot of the statue stuff. So upstairs was made up of the cafe, the banfest of the Ichiraku stuff. We were told not to film anything to do with the Ichiraku stuff, but the area was mainly a... It, you had two counters basically, it felt very much like a Pokemon in that sense. One area was for the cafe and the other area was made up for the uh, for the Ichiraku and the statue, uh, the Banpresto stuff. For the Ichiraku stuff, the way that works is that you, you put in a certain amount and you get, uh, you get a chance of winning the prize. And when you won the top prize, they ring a bell, which sometimes you might hear in the video. Um, upstairs though, you did see a lot of Banpresto statues. Now if you don't know anything about Banpresto, they do some amazing like uh, art stuff. I do have a few... Um, art pieces. They like basic show pieces that you can have around. And you say, oops, I saw mainly stuff for uh, Chainsaw Man, One Piece, some Gundam stuff, which was actually really, really surprising. Especially that the series they were covering That's was they had a lot of Suleta from uh, uh, Gundam uh, Witch of Mercury, which I, I actually really like that series. Need to finish off that series as well. Cool. But yeah, that was what was what was mainly made up of that area uh, upstairs. Now, luckily for me, we had a lot of stuff to do with the uh, One Piece stuff that had come up. We literally got there during the launch. Now, when it first opened up, there was nothing in this area. This is actually fairly new. So we got it through an expansion pass. So we had a bit of, we were allowed to um, film a little bit of the area during this tournament that they were apparently running at the same time. So, which is actually really cool. Nice to see them doing activities there. I'm not gonna lie, the Big Mom one is kind of really cool. At the Bandai Namco Cross Store in Camden Town. I've not opened one of these in a while, so let's see how it goes. Let's see how it might just go really simply, or it might just go terribly. Let's find out today. Maybe that was a bad idea. <laughs> The worst part is, is it was still the if best part. Of the game, <laughs> All right. It's open. <laughs> so I saw a few things. So obviously you had your your common ones, which was you had a lot of um, a Gundam Wing, you had a lot of Kamen Rider stuff, you had your anime ones, but then you had all these offshoots, like you had so a lot of Animal Crossing stuff, which was in there, which was surprising. And they also had some like third. Which I wasn't going to call third party, but I actually don't know if it's third party. It may just be more popular in Japan, but they had like uh, fighting cats gachas. They had uh, sumo gachas, like little quirky ones, which I think would be more appreciated as like a little present if you ever give it to somebody else. So here's how the system works with, um, with the tokens. You buy tokens from a machine. And you can, and one token equals two pounds. So you, for, sorry, for you spend two pounds to equal one token. And to get anything so decent, you need to have like spent around about ten pounds, which is a bit steep. Stuff. I'm not gonna lie. But the fact that you get a West, lot of variety so in it you is like, actually right, good. We'll so I, I thought I'll try it out yeah, once. Out this is kind of the ones I ended up picking. The thing is, I really want Black RX, but I also want Master Rider number one and two. I'm scared that if I go for any one of them, I'm gonna get the villains, and I'm like, I don't care about them. So 
we're just gonna bite the bullet and hope. So this one requires three, so I've got three. One, three. Let's see how much milk I have. Lift it up, yeah. Friendship one, actually, that's actually a really good one. Hang on, I'll show you. Hang on. Hang on. How can I? How can I open it? I'm struggling. I think he's a sellotape. I guess sellotape. <coughs> I think he's a sellotape. Have I, have I just gone blind? But one of the more iconic scenes, which is the proof of friendship in from the Alabaster arc at the end. And I finally got a first nail for myself. Yay. So I think that's a good one. I got I got basically what I wanted from all from both of the ones I had. It is a bit on the expensive side, not gonna lie. But um, at the same time it is like that kind of fun. So really if you are gonna come to the place like this, kinda know what you're coming into, don't spend more than you can. And because if you only want to spend like three quid or four quid, then just don't stick it to that. If not, understand that uh, that's kind of what's going to happen. I will probably take part in the survey at some point. Uh, and get a free drink as well. But uh, um, at the very least, it's nice that they have a wide selection. So it does give you a lot of it. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. You can find me on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and we do live stream a lot on Twitch. It would be super helpful if you do share the video. And as always, and remember, I hope you guys have a very wonderful and happy fast day. See you next video, everyone.